Hi friends, welcome back to FNM Labs. Today we begin a new series on a subject which is so close to us. Yes, you guessed it, it's biology. I'm sure it is going to be a wonderful journey through the various topics in biology. But we will be focusing mainly on the topics covered in the 10th standard of the curriculum. Today we are going to discuss one of the most important sensory organs of our body, the eye. But before we go into the main topics, let's just discuss about some basics. For instance, what are sense organs? As we have all learned in our lower classes that sense organs are those organs that help us to sense the changes in our environment. With their help, we become aware of what is happening in our internal and external environment. We have five major sense organs, eyes, ears, nose, skin and tongue. Eyes help us sense light. Ears help us sense sound. Nose helps us sense smell. Skin helps us sense touch. And tongue helps us to taste. We all know this. this these are all basic uh, functions. Apart from this, the sense organs have some additional functions like to sense balance, body movements, it gives us the feeling of hunger, thirst, and also pain. Actual sensation by these sense organs are carried out by sensory cells which are located in these organs. These sensory cells are called receptors. Receptors, they are any specialized tissue or cell which is sensitive to certain stimuli. Like example, uh, in our eyes, there are the photoreceptors. Photoreceptors uh, are sensitive to the stimulus light and it helps us in our vision. They are uh, called rods and cones. Uh, because of their special shape, they are present in uh, our retina of the eye, about which we will be learning in the future sessions. Next uh, is the phonoreceptors, which are present in our inner ear. Our ear has many parts, the outer ear, middle ear and inner ear. This also we'll be learning uh, in detail in the future sessions. Uh, phonoreceptors help us to sense sound and they also have additional function of uh, maintaining balance and equilibrium of the body. Next is uh, the chemoreceptors. Chemoreceptors, they are present in our tongue and nose. They are sensitive to chemical substances. In the case of tongue, they are uh, sensitive. They help us uh, in sensing taste. And in the case of nose, they helps us, uh, help us in sensing smell. Next, the thermoreceptors. Thermoreceptors, they are temperature sensing receptors uh, present in the skin. They help us to sense uh, relative temperature changes. Uh, they result in the body, fe body feeling hot or cold. Then there are the mechanoreceptors, which are also present in the skin. They are sensitive to mechanical stimuli like uh, touch, pressure, vibrations, etc. Now, let us talk in detail about the eye. Uh, our eyes are present in the front side of the head and uh, they are present in deep sockets called orbits. And each eye is like a ball and each eyeball has six muscles for uh, rotation. Next, uh, we are talk going to talk about the additional parts that are present uh, surrounding the eye. Example, the eyelids. Eyelids uh, are present in the upper and lower parts of the eye. Uh, the upper eyelid is movable and the lower is not movable. Uh, eyelids protect the outer surface of the eyes. Uh, with their help, we can uh, shut out light. Suppose when we blink, 
or when we close our eyes um, eyelids get closed and shut out light each eyelid has outwardly curved eyelashes eyelashes the hair the small hairs present uh, on the eyelids they have a protective function uh, suppose when like dust particles they tend to fall into the eyes uh, they get trapped in the hairs and thus they they are prevented from uh, falling into the eye and causing irritation next uh, the eyebrows eyebrows are not virtually part of the eye but they also have a protective function they prevent uh, raindrops or perspiration or sweat from falling into the eyes uh, so eyebrows also have hairs which prevent liquids like raindrops or sweat from getting into the eyes our next topic is tear glands and we will be covering that in the part 2 of this series if you haven't yet don't forget to subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you in the next session have a wonderful learning time